Here's how you can make this RGB wavy cloth here in After Effects. Create a new composition, rename it, I'm gonna go with 1080p, duration 10 seconds, black background, click OK. Let's go and activate the title action safe, select the pen tool, make sure that you don't have anything on the fill, click on the fill, click on the none, click OK, and click on the stroke, select the fill color, click OK. I'm gonna go with 8 pixels, and I'm gonna click here, press and hold shift, and click on the opposite side. Now let's go and create a solid, right click new, select solid, enter, press control D to duplicate, and I'm gonna drag one under the shape layer, and I'm gonna select the top solid, let's go to the effects and presets, type in gradient ramp. Drag and drop the gradient on the black solid top, and I'm gonna select one of these dots, bring it on the right, and I'm gonna go down and select the bottom dot and bring it on the left. Right click on the top black solid, pre-comp, rename it as gradient, and I'm gonna select move all attributes into the new composition, click OK. Let's go and uncheck the gradient layer, and I'm gonna go to the effects and presets, type in time displacement. Bring the time displacement on the shape layer, and let's go to the time displacement layer and change it to the gradient. I'm gonna increase the max displacement to 2. Now let's animate the shape layer, press the letter P for position, activate the stopwatch, and I'm gonna select the line, bring it down, also press and hold shift. I'm gonna bring it to the first second, and I'm gonna bring it upwards. And I'm gonna select the first keyframe, press Ctrl C, let's go to the second second, Ctrl V. I'm gonna select all keyframes, a right click, keyframe says select easy ease. Press and hold Alt, click on the position stopwatch here, and it's gonna show up the expressions, type in loop out, and select this one, enter, and I'm gonna click somewhere here, and now it should loop itself. Now let's go to the effects and presets, type in time displacement, drag and drop on the shape layer, and we're gonna go to the time displacement layer, change it to gradient. And now it's gonna make it wavy. We're gonna to need to increase the time resolution all the way to a thousand. And now it is going to smoothen out as much as possible. You also can work on the max displacement time. If you increase, it is going to add more waves. But right now I can try it out with 1.7. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in mini max. I drag it under the displacement. Let's go and change up the channel. I'm gonna select alpha and color, a direction, just horizontal and I'm gonna increase the number to 150. And now we're gonna to need to smoothen these jagged lines. So I'm gonna to go to the effects and presets, type in choker, and drag and drop the simple choker under the minimax and increase it until those jagged lines are going to disappear. Now let's change up the stroke colors. So let's go to the stroke, click on the stroke, and we're gonna change it to gradient, linear gradient. Click OK. And as you can see, I already got colors in here, but not in the right way. So if I zoom in, if I zoom in more, you can see we got like two circles here, really, really small circles like this one. If I drag it, it is going to start extending the gradient that I have. So I'm gonna go and drag it all the way right here on the right. And I'm gonna go and select the left part right here. And I'm gonna drag it on the left side. I'm also gonna go and add some light on it. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in light sweep drag and drop under the choker. I'm gonna increase the width, 140. Sweep intensity is gonna be zero. The edge thickness, you can increase it even more. I'm gonna decrease, I'm also gonna decrease the edge intensity maybe. And let's duplicate this. I'm gonna press Control D on it. And I'm gonna go to the direction and bring it down. So it's gonna be on the bottom. I also can manage this one right here. And I'm gonna decrease the intensity a little bit more. And now we got some shininess going on. And now, at least, we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in turbulent displace, drag it under the light sweep. I'm gonna go and bring down the amount to 30, size 130. And I'm gonna need to make this loop because the beginning starts like this and the ending goes out. So I'm gonna go to the work area and bring it into the second second. And at the ending, I'm gonna bring in the work area to the eighth second. So if I bring it here, hit play, it is going to loop itself. I also gonna add some glow on it, type in glow, drag it under the turbulence, glow threshold, I gonna increase it, glow radius, increase it, and I gonna make it nice and shiny. And this is how I make this wavy flag here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.